We call this one question, two analysts, three minutes. I'm Tim Priest with Tim O'Malley for Irish Illustrated's one, two, three. And our question for today is which of Notre Dame's 2020 grad transfers will have the greatest impact? And for the purpose of this recording, we're including Trevor Spates, who is not at Notre Dame quite yet, at least not when this was recorded. You know, Nick McLeod from North Carolina State, position, talent, impact on the team overall, impact on one position group, and really impact on that side of scrimmage. I think it gives Clark Lee so many options. He is clearly my number one choice. Um, I assume a lot of people that maybe did not tune into our one spring practice report are wondering why Isaiah Pryor isn't immediately on this list. He's in a good, he's in a dogfight, right, with Houston Griffith and DJ Brown, so I can't include him. I put him down to number three. And uh, Ben Skoranek, I think there's just so much, so many wide receivers can help. I'd be surprised if Ben Skoranek's not the, one of the top five, and he could be a top four wide receiver on the team. Yeah, we, we just, you know, we saw one practice, and we, and we saw DJ Brown and Houston Griffith have a good day. So Yeah, uh, but it, we, it, that has caused us to talk about those guys, not well, just no, the, prior, I, yeah, yeah, no doubt. And, and so that doesn't eliminate uh, Isaiah Pryor from, yeah. from the situation, of course. But he'll be in competition there. And, and I think both of us clearly agree that Nick McLeod will have the greatest impact. It was, it was the, the biggest need. Uh, fulfilled or filled by uh, one of those, by those four guys. But I, I think Ben Skronik is, you know, uh, I think Ian Book's been spending some time with him in California. You know, they're throwing the football, throwing it and catching it. And I think Ben Skronik is going to be, I will predict, I don't know if this is a huge prediction. I think he'll be in the top three on the three. team in receptions. Uh, and, he, and he isn't necessarily penciled in as a starter right now. But I, I think he'll be in the top three, Tommy Trimble will have a huge impact and uh, Lawrence Keyes certainly comes into play there as well. You really Avery Davis comes into play there as well, but I'm, I'm getting off topic. I think Ben Skronik is a, is a big, strong guy. Uh, I think he's developing some chemistry during this downtime or he did with Ian book. And I think he's going to have a big impact on the offense. I, I'd be happy to see it because they need a veteran presence out there too, moving the chains. They have Braden Lindsay is set as our breakout player along with Kevin Austin, but, Braden Lindsay hasn't proven yet he's going to be out there catching 40 passes either. Now, he could, he could catch 25 passes and get 20 handoffs and score 11 touchdowns. So that's, that's a bigger impact than anybody that wants to catch 50 passes for some first downs. But that's why I go back to McLeod. Um, even if Isaiah Pryor starts, I think Nick McLeod is a godsend, almost the Cody Riggs coming in from 2014, where, look, when Kevari Russell got suspended, Cody Riggs became your best cornerback on that team and he might have been had Kavari been there I, I don't know if, if Nick McLeod can play anywhere near that level I don't think people remember Riggs as much because he got hurt for November they went 0-4 and so he only played eight games but that, that Nick McLeod could really make an impact back there and if Trevor Spates ends up being uh, on this roster I, I don't know that any of us really know exactly what he brings to the equation it's a crowded house back there right uh, but he's a guy that uh, you know Lance Taylor likes what he brings to the the running back room uh and so we'll see what what uh what he brings to the equation but you know he he averaged 14 yards per carry in high school I almost think it <laughs> yeah. worked against him you'd like to see him just hit the hole a little bit more and I keep saying he's not as good as the guys they have but maybe that's because of recency bias I see the guys they've had Lance Taylor knows better if he's better than one of the guys they have than we would that's Irish Illustrated's one two three